JP Morgan's view is at least for the near term, we expect OPEC policy to remain, and particularly Saudi Arabia uh, with its new King Salman. We think the oil policy for the kingdom will uh, continue as, uh, as it is, i.e. letting the oil market or supply demand uh, dynamics actually uh, start to unwind and let some of the higher cost producers start to pull back. Well, it's a very difficult question, but certainly in the near term, particularly as we come into March, we see more uh, downside risks to current spot prices. Uh, we'll gradually go into maintenance, refining maintenance season where you could see incremental demand get pulled. And we're not really seeing, apart from US rig count moderation, a substantial change in oil output from various oil producers around the world. We've always looked at financial markets as very much, uh, you know, providing the sort of froth to the sort of oil market. You know, on a fundamental supply-demand outlook, we think that the market is oversupplied this quarter by around sort of 1.6 million barrels per day, and potentially in the second quarter around 1 million barrels per day. So, uh, J.P. Morgan's view is still it's fundamental fundamentally driven uh, market and at the moment there's limited signs that we're seeing a substantial supply side response to lower oil prices. Well, JP Morgan's been cautious on, on the oil sector. Um, we actually see uh, you know, further risk to earnings cuts for some of our coverage, uh, not just for this year, but also uh, 2016. We're already around 30% below consensus for some of our names. So uh, you could see, as we come into the earnings, certainly risk around impairments, um, also lowering of earnings expectations and also growth expectations from uh, the market as well for some of the oil names.